Beef processor JBS in Greeley says the vast majority of its plant is operating today. A nasty cyber attack forced the shutdown yesterday of several JBS facilities in North America and also Australia. 13 plants in the United States had to shut down. JBS won't say if it paid any ransom to clear up its hacked computer system. Meat prices have already been rising lately. Now there's concern the cyber attack could disrupt supplies and push prices even higher. I think uh, it's going to have an effect um, on both ends of the supply chain. So if you think about it, JBS and its meat processing facilities will supply to grocery stores. They may supply to other folks who manufacture fine products, go to restaurants, all sorts of people. JBS has dozens of brands in the U.S., including Clear River Farms, 1855, and Pilgrims. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas has been reporting on this story this week, checking in from Fort Collins. So, Dylan, we know these attacks can cost companies a lot of money. Yeah, Jim, as we've seen with other systems, the cyber criminals can end up walking away with millions of dollars per hack. And those payouts are relatively cheap compared to what the companies are losing in downtime. From water sanitation systems to oil pipelines and now to meat suppliers like JBS, it appears that America's infrastructure is under attack. And experts here at CSU say this should serve as a wake-up call to the nation. Well, there's no question that this is cyber warfare. If there are, is a crack and they really want to, they'll find it. Strong words from Stephen Hain, a professor of computer information systems at Colorado State and co-director for Colorado's Cybersecurity Center. For those in the field, an attack on the nation's infrastructure comes as no surprise. Not at all. We've been expecting this for years. Greeley's JBS, the nation's largest meat provider, says it was hit by Russian criminal organization Revel. Haynes says hackers are targeting companies and organizations that will cripple the American economy if not addressed immediately, increasing their odds of payout. I think that they're just following the money. When it comes to American infrastructure... It's going to be attacked, and it's very, very vulnerable, and we've known it for years. Well, this is a chaotic problem for the economy. It's also an uphill battle. What we have to do is we have to plug every single hole and all they have to find is one. Through schools like Colorado State, Haynes says America can produce cyber warriors of our own. We can fight this. This isn't a, a, a dark hole that we can't get out of. We're starting to get those wake-up calls, so I, I think we can dig out of this pretty quickly. We're good at this. We're better than the bad guys. Now, one way to battle these ransomware attacks is to make sure you have backups of your data so you don't have to pay out. It's not clear if JBS had those backups or if they did end up paying the attackers. Those here at CSU tell us that students at the university are being taught a lot of these preventative measures, which may suggest why JBS and other major companies are really increasing the amount of people they're hiring from universities like CSU. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.